I think I think first of all it's really important for each of you to know that I do really love these two guys and this delegation is really solid. It's really solid. That matters to not just going out and procuring resources, but uh, expanding creativity and thoughtfulness and learning and engaging and being involved in the process and being taken really seriously in the process. These are, these are solid folks and I'm blessed by the opportunity to partner with you in the center. I want to speak really quickly to those here that came to spend time with us and share their personal stories about their loved ones with disabilities. So I just finished my 13th session this last year. I'm entering my 14th. And I've learned something that's really vitally important to me. And that is that the space that you're talking about is really diverse and really complex. There are so many different situations out there within families, within the scale and determination of the disability. It really is complex. But I wanted to give each one of you, because I heard some come up and say they were blessed by the program. And others say they were really concerned about changes that are being proposed in the program. And there are varying other relative comments, but generally speaking, they were largely across the board. I want to assure you this, the gentleman that's going to be speaker across from my presidency, his name is Danny Perez, and he is from Miami. And he has a brother that um, is, has developmental disabilities. And I've sat with him and talked with him at length about his experiences and his family's experiences in that space. He has a heart as big as this room and I have an immense respect for him. He was the one that instigated this pilot project last year because the goal the goal of all of this, I worked very closely with him in the Senate over it, and Senator Harrell. The goal is, is to find a better space. The goal is, is to do a better job. The goal is, is to serve that constituency across this state more efficiently, more effectively, and get better outcomes for the, for the families. That's the goal. So if you have concerns about changes in the system and how that will affect you, I don't blame you at all because it's incredibly and deeply personal. But I just want to be clear. The goal is going to be over the coming years, at least I believe that I have some potential to speak for 2025 and 26, but the goal is going to be for the state to be better partners with the families that need the services so that things are better, not just different for the sake of change. I mean, really better. It's going to be hard to hit a sweet spot with it because of the complexity and the diversity in the population. It's going to take a lot of work to try to understand everybody to the extent we can, the circumstances and the implications of what happens when you pull this lever or press this button. And I can assure you, there may even be some here and some within the uh, sound of my voice that won't be happy with the outcome. And in a state like Florida, that's pretty hard to, it's, all, it's essentially impossible to create any kind of legislation or any kind of budget that serves everyone to 100% satisfaction. But our goal is going to be to help more people in a better way and get better outcomes for families. And I'm proud that I've got a partner like Danny, or I should say, really, he's the one that's taking the lead on it, Danny Perez. I'm proud to partner with him and follow his lead on it because he has personal experience in this space. 
It's something I don't have. I have a heart to help, but I don't have that. I appreciate everyone that came out to spend time today and explain their circumstances with us and share their emotion. That means a lot and it helps guide us and it helps us to get even more uh, energized, if you will, to, to approach this challenge and to get a better outcome. Thank you. Thank you.